Okay guys, yesterday, some more news on Jonathan Drouin came to light. Apparently he had surgery on his wrist and in today's video I'm gonna try and bring you up to speed on the whole situation. We'll take a look at his respected recovery from this, we'll talk about if they should keep him or if they should just cover him in honey and tie him to a tree in the woods. But first, before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs or just how the ladies over in Toronto seem to love Cole Caulfield, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a crap ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, what's going on with Johnny today? Well, let's take a look because Renaud Lavoie has all the goods on this. Lavoie says, quote, Jonathan Drouin needed a surgery on his right wrist, which was done in New York on Friday to repair some torn ligaments. Everything went well, and I'm told he will be ready for the upcoming training camp. So there you have it. Drouin is out for the season, and he's been having these issues with his wrist for quite some time now. This is not something that just came out of the blue, you know? This has been a reoccurring problem. He already saw a doctor about it earlier this year. They recommended surgery back then, but Drouin, you know, he needed a second opinion. And unfortunately for him, this must have been the only option available. And that sucks, you know, no matter what way you want to slice and dice it, Jonathan Drouin is a highly skilled player. He's oozing with talent, there's no doubt about that. But you gotta admit, since he came to the Canadians, it's been a bit of a peculiar time. He's been all over the place in the lineup, he's had lots of injury problems. Alexander Ovechkin nearly decapitated him at one point, remember that? He did survive, but uh, yeah, this was a near-death experience for Jonathan Drouin. His name also, for some reason, appears to be written on the COVID protocol list with permanent ink. Like, I just don't know what to say anymore. What else can happen to him? Is he gonna get struck by lightning twice next year? Lupus? Is it lupus? Now, statistically speaking, he was actually having a pretty good year. He was producing at a higher pace this season than last year, and with his season shut down early, this means he finishes up with about 20 points in 34 games. Over the years, he definitely scored some filthy goals for the Canadians. He loves going five-hole backhand, and when it works, it's beautiful. Back in 2016, this guy had 21 goals with the Tampa Bay Lightning. He would not hit the 20-goal plateau since that year, and with his wrist injury now, I wouldn't really count on him potting too many goals in the near future. Hopefully I'm wrong, okay? Hopefully he comes back and he looks good. Jonathan Drouin came to town when Marc Bergevin decided to trade Mikhail Sergachev for him. I know lots of people are still not happy about this one, but guess what? There's a light at the end of the tunnel because Drouin is about to make 5.5 million bucks next season and then he becomes an unrestricted free agent. Now, does Mr. Clean seem to think that Jonathan Drouin is going to be a part of the team moving forward? Are they going to try and lock this guy up during the summer and extend him? Oh, I honestly don't think so. Here's what I personally think is going to happen. Now that he's recovering from this surgery, Hughes and Gordon, they're going to hang on to Drouin temporarily, you know, let him train with the team, get back into shape, get back into the lineup. They're going to try and wrap this guy up with as much bubble wrap as they possibly can, try and make sure he doesn't get hurt, and then it really depends on how the Canadians play as a team next season. If somehow, some way, the Habs look good next year and they're actually fighting for a playoff position, then yeah, maybe they'll keep Drouin around and let him walk during the offseason. But if they're still struggling next year, which is quite possible, and Hughes continues to sell off the assets, then I think Drouin is going to be moved to another team as a rental heading into the playoffs. Kind of like how they handled the whole Turkey and Ben Sherat situation this year. If they can fleece another team out of a first round pick, then let's do it. And you know, maybe this is what's best for both Drouin and the Habs at this point. Every little problem Drouin has is getting amplified in Montreal. He already admitted this. I mean, look at this photo here from the press conference back when they first acquired this guy. Look at that face. It's like his brain is just kicking in and saying, Do you realize what you've done? Some guys, they just can't handle the spotlight, and that's okay. And then some guys, they've also got bad luck. And when you put two of these things together in a market like Montreal, it can get nasty in a hurry. 
And look, whether you like him or you don't like him, he actually seems like a really nice guy. He's done lots of charity work in Montreal over the years, he visits the hospitals, you know, all that good stuff. You can't take that away from him, and I do wish him the best. I mean, I keep forgetting he's only 27 years old. But the new Habs management, they're re-evaluating the whole team right now. They're evaluating Drouin and they're thinking, do we think Jonathan Drouin is going to be a long-term stable in the Canadiens lineup? Is he part of the core? And right now, I just don't see it that way. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know what you think on the whole Drouin situation down in the comment section. Do you consider Jonathan Drouin a part of the future? Let me know all about it. Don't forget to slap the tickety ticketaz off of that like button on the way out of here. And hey... Oh, see you next time.